Wondering what behavioral and verbal cues a man will give you when he's just not into you? Want to know what he'll do, what it means, and how you can test his interest on the spot? I've got all that coming up for you right now. Hey everyone, I'm dating and relationship coach Ryan Patrick. Today, I'm going to expand upon a video I did about a year and a half ago and bring you 10 brand new signs he's not interested in you and how to deal with those signs in real time with men when they happen. But first, my eight week coaching program, The Boyfriend Blueprint, is open for enrollment once again this week. You can work with me directly for eight weeks with a like minded group of women starting next Monday. So enroll before doors close again this Friday night. Just open up a new tab on your browser and go to boyfriendblueprint.com slash enroll and watch a fun informative video I have for you over there about my program so you know exactly what it entails. If you're watching this video after the week it was posted, go sign up for my program waitlist so you'll be a part of the next group that passes through. It's boyfriendblueprint.com slash enroll or simply click the link in the description below. Also, if you're new here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. We're always happy to have newcomers in our bustling community here. Thanks so much for your support. Now, let's jump into how guys tell you indirectly that they actually don't like you. Without telling you to your face, some men are just really good at mastering that half in, half out thing with you. It's those wishy-washy guys that have that uncanny ability to string you along by getting you to focus on his hot moments with you rather than his cold moments. This video is meant to help you spot those cold moments faster, but also to help you call them out right when you experience them. Here are 10 signs he's just not into you and how you can quickly confirm his disinterest Say next to him and move on. The first sign is he'll convince you he's into you. Nothing sells or convinces you better that he's into you when he's actually not than a bad nickname, right? Am I right? Gorgeous, beautiful, shorty, angel, sunshine, precious. Dude, just stop. If you sense that he's logically trying to explain to you that he's interested, he knows he's compensating because of his lack of action somewhere with you. When you sense he's convincing you, say this. Stop. You want to show me you like me? Take me out tomorrow night. I'm ready. Then pause. If he sets up a date, great. If not, next. The second sign is he'll keep his intentions hidden. Many of you will run into the guy that wants to have sex with you, but doesn't actually like you. He'll try to hide his sexual intentions with you with gentlemanly behavior. One thing about this guy, time is his kryptonite. He'll soon enough get impatient with you. So what do you do? Make this boy work. If you sense he wants sex without taking you out on a proper date, do this. Next him and lose his number. Ladies, don't even think twice with this guy. Force his A game from day one. The third sign is he'll avoid prolonged eye contact. A man's body language is pretty easy to read if you're dealing with a guy who just isn't into you. Even the simplest gestures of interest will be nearly impossible for him to pull off. Unless he's a narcissist, of course. You see, his eyes are his window to his vulnerability. If you look too deep in there without permission, he'll have to turn away. To separate the disinterested man from the shy man, let's say, say this. No need to be shy. You can ask me for my number. A shy guy will not only get your number, but he'll reach out fairly quickly if he likes you. The fourth sign is he'll ping you on social. Do you want to know one of the most reliable ways to know if a guy is genuinely interested in you or if you're just a random option for him? Guys who aren't really interested will keep all their focus of communication on social media. He'll comment on your status, he'll watch your stories, he'll even snap you. But don't take the bait. Social media is the lazy disinterested man's choice of communication with you. If you sense that you're just stuck in this social media conversation with him, message him this. I'm not really on here that consistently, so let me know if you want to upgrade the conversation. If he doesn't really like you, at that point, he won't ask for your number. The fifth sign is he'll submarine to keep you hooked. Nothing like a good old submariner to keep you thinking he's interested. For those of you who don't know, submarining is essentially a form of ghosting where a guy will bob his head in and out of your life from time to time. He initially did you a favor by ghosting you, but now he's got to confuse you with his intentions by showing back up in your life again. If you're dealing with a submariner, 
do this. Next him as soon as he pops up and politely tell him to stop contacting you. The sixth sign is he'll make you travel more. Again, this is another confusing sign because he wants to hang out with you. But you're the one who always seems to be doing all of the driving to his neighborhood or all of the flying if you're in a long distance relationship. He'll make excuse after excuse of why he can't travel closer to you. It's his way or the highway. If you realize a guy isn't doing nearly as much traveling as you, say this. Bye, I got to do than to deal with this nonsense. The seventh sign is he'll give you typical excuses. I've got to work. I've got a lot of homework. I've got to feed my mom. I'm sorry. I've got to feed my dog. I've got to take care of my mom the next time you ask me out. Never let it get to that point with any man where he's able to throw every excuse at you in the book of why he can't see you. Give him one final chance. I'm getting bored here, Bob. If you can't meet with me this week, don't expect to hear from me. The eighth sign is he'll be vague making plans. We should totally kick it soon, girly girl. Uh, like when, Funky Fresh? Funky Fresh, that's good. You know, we should get together when two kindred spirits cross paths in the night. Uh-huh. When a guy isn't into you, he will most likely never be able to make concrete plans with you. He may even change the subject. If he's vague, pin him to a date. Ladies, I hope you're seeing a pattern here. This will tell you all you need to know about his interest level. Never be afraid to get a concrete answer. The ninth sign is he'll never match your efforts. Do you feel that you've become the crafty one in the equation, trying to figure out cute ways to get him to text you back, take you out, or acknowledge your existence at all? You should be the one leaning back with your feet propped up on the table in the beginning, not him. If you find that you're the one doing all the work, something is seriously wrong. If this is you, stop your effort with this man right now, today. If not, you're gonna be working your tail off double time just trying to get his attention. The tenth sign is he'll silo you from everything. If he likes you, he's gonna wanna show you off, plain and simple. As men, we wanna showcase the good things in our lives to create a feedback loop for ourselves that we're making solid life choices. If you notice that you two never seem to share the company of other people, namely his friends, then he's keeping your interactions a secret for a reason. Ladies, stop putting up with this short end crap from men, okay? So he can't tell you he doesn't like you to your face. So what? See the signs and empower yourselves to say next. If you hear one thing from me in this video, hear this. Your happiness is 100% your responsibility. Never ever place that in a man's hands. Even if you're married to one, if you stuck around to this point in the video, I wanna share something very special with you. I want you to hear directly from women that have taken their happiness into their own hands and wanted to speak directly to you. The great women of this community on this channel, how you can completely level up and change the game for yourself this week through my eight week coaching program, The Boyfriend Blueprint. It'll change your life. <laughs> It'll change the way you think about your life. It'll change it changes everything because it starts from inside you. You can't control outside factors. You can only control yourself, but by, con by changing yourself, you bring outside change. It starts with you. It starts with the work on yourself. All I really have to say is the investment is absolutely worth it. And it's, you know, you are going to be investing your time and you really have to take the time to dedicate to doing this work and it's not just inner work like once you get past that initial difficult part of the program it does get easier but you still have to invest the time in really processing the information in the program and continuing to put in the work and once you're done with the program go through it again because the second time, third time, fourth, fifth, however many times you go through it, you're gonna pick up on something new and it is so worth it. I joined because of you. <laughs> I joined because I had watched your videos. I was a fan. I had developed trust with you. The fact that you have an ability to relate to women is, is, is everything and 
uh, the time that you give to this course. You know, the, the workbook is, is important, but being able to dialogue with the expert, with the person that created this course is hands down the reason why you should actually sign up. It's not just about um, finding a boyfriend, it's really finding yourself. It's really finding your inner confidence uh, to trust yourself more, to be more aware of who you are, what you want. Um, and it's just like, I feel like it's a huge step in your life and you need to do the work for you and everything after that, it just flow because you have done the work. You have healed, you have done the work and uh, everything is just bonus stuff for that. If you're ready to commit to it, you will be a totally new person. You're gonna be a much better person for yourself and you're gonna show up for yourself 100% and you will create your life the way that you deserve for yourself and you don't put this power into anybody else else hands it is you who will surround yourself with people that you choose you will create your environment you will get the joy in every day by occupying your day with the things that you like with the people that you like and the program shows you how to do it step by step and then the companion, the man, the partners that will come along, it will show up, It's um, it will come to you just, it will be attracted to you by the universe, I believe so, because you are changing your frequency, you're changing your intentions, you're sending these intentions of love and joy and kindness into the world, and that will be attracted back to you. Instead of all the worries and anxieties that you had before, if you give yourself this chance to go through the program and put the, put the work and be committed and just go through the exercises and try them, no, you, will be, you will be a little bit over, overwhelmed maybe with the information. It's a lot, but take your time whenever you can and just apply the information as well because knowledge is helpful, but then applying the lessons in your life, actually going and trying it, it is the one, it is the point when it makes a difference in your life. When you, that's when you really feel changes happening in front of your eyes and you feel, wow, I'm doing it. It feels incredible. So I would say this program helped me personally so much. And I am so grateful that I have done it. And I missed it already because I have learned so much. And I, I wish there would be more and more and more, but now we are on our own to go and um, practice what we have learned and it has been absolutely wonderful experience absolutely wonderful experience <laughs>